Good morning, world. Um, so today is the first day of my four days of chemotherapy. This is exceptionally exciting. Um, of course, it depends how you define exciting. Uh, yeah. So here I am. Here's my catheter that's ready to take in the different chemicals, I suppose, that are involved in the chemotherapy process. And here is the stand with all the different drugs on. Uh, there's quite a lot of drugs and machines. So I presume this is going to take about three hours. Ladies just come in. Hello. So I'm going to be uh, having some of this glorious treatments uh, that will be in, infused into my neck, straight into my jugular. So let's see if this will work. Um, look at my bald head. Clean my glasses. Can't see anything. Are you good today? Good? No, I understand. No? No, I understand. Oh, no, I understand. Okay. There goes a small talk. How exciting. So that's the first one in. Going down and across and up into which one is it? It's number two. Woo! Yay, I've got 23 something so that's good that's exactly what i wanted i didn't want 24 and i didn't want 22 i mainly wanted 23 so i'm stoked and already you can see it's it's creasing in at the side so gravity is squeezing that bottle and pushing it into my veins and doing something awesome to me i think But, uh, you know, so I, th I think this process will take about three hours. Ah, it might be that they start steroids for one hour and then the chemo drugs for two hours. So it could be that that is the only drug that's infusing for an hour before and that gets my body ready for the for the chemo drugs before they start the chemo drugs in a couple of hours in in an hour's time and they will last for two hours I'm fairly sure that's what happens so that's why she's just walked off um not because i've annoyed her i've probably annoyed her but she has just walked off so just for clarification this one here is the actual sort of chemo drug. This one here is for my kidney, I think. So to make sure my kidney's all right. This third one is for my heart. Uh, this is one I'm already on, which is somewhat depressed. That's for anti-nausea. Uh, don't know what that one is. Maybe that's another nausea one, I don't know. But certainly chemo, 
kidney, heart to support to support the function of those organs whilst under chemo. So yeah, woohoo! So the doctors just explained in slightly more detail uh, what each of these are. So I'm having one here, which is an anti-nausea drug, and that will, uh, I'll only have one for this four days. So that'll go down. Then I'll have the main chemo drugs and support medicines, and they will, I will get a an, an infusion that's about three, three hours in the morning, then four hours later I'll get a little bit, and four hours after that I'll get a little bit. So there'll be three each day, but the main one is in the morning, which lasts about three hours. So they will be those other um, infusions. Uh, infusion sounds like a cup of tea, doesn't it? A nice herbal tea. Uh, I think it's a bit more oomph than that. So as I say, today's one is, uh, or the one I'm having right at the moment is an anti-nausea drug, uh, because obviously the, the chemo can make you quite nauseous. Um, and that is going in through there and over and around and up and drip, 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 drip. Yeah. So. There you go, that's the first stage of chemo. Um, absolutely no problem so far. Oops, sorry camera. Absolutely no problem so far, obviously, because they're just connecting it up to my already existing catheter. So I can drink and eat as per normal. They do give a couple of protein shakes that I can have between infusions. That should help with sort of sorting out my stomach, um, but I'm having a cup of tea now. Uh, I might watch the rest of the film or do a bit of reading, you know, because that's how rock and roll I am. Uh, and I can get up and, and because this thing moves, so I can move it to go for a wee, or I can wee in a jug, or they, he said they can um, connect me up to a catheter if I really need it. So. Lots of options, uh, everything's going fine. So the next thing, that um, anti nausea one pretty quickly went, went into me and so she's taken it away and there are these two left now that are fairly, again, fairly rapidly letting their liquids go and they are both going down and up and around and into my body. So going into there, they are, I don't really know what they are. One of them's for my heart, I believe. Uh, as I said, uh, I don't know what the other one is. So that, that's all happening. And then after they finish, they'll probably move on to those Big fellas. Mm -hmm. So I finished my first initial session of chemo, taking about three hours this morning, and it was fine, absolutely fine. Just want to talk about some of the side effects, but it's difficult to know what I'm imagining and what's actually happening. So it feels as though I'm clearer in mind maybe more energy i'm not sure but it could also be that the sun's really shining out there uh, i'm being serious like there's a clarity in this room because the sun is shining and 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 everything is is clearer and it appears to have more energy or everything's clearer in my head and i have more energy i'm, I'm not sure one of those two things. I know that Frank next door said that he's got loads of energy and he wants to go out for a walk now. So obviously these drugs do have some kind of effect uh, on you. So that's how I feel at the moment. I feel quite, quite good. Um, it's only the first session. 
I have noticed that, you know, when I go to, to the bathroom, I'm staggering a lot more than I normally would. And I'm trying to work out whether that is as a result of many of the drugs I've been on throughout the last 10 days, or whether it's a, as a result of deconditioning, because deconditioning is a really major factor of disability, right? So deconditioning being when you are not using your body enough, and therefore it becomes deconditioned, it gets out of out of use, out of sorts. So I've I've basically been confined to a room for ten days. I've done I've walked to the shop a couple of times and this and that, but really my exercise levels have gone right down. So my muscles are not going to use. So when I get up and go to, to to the loo, I am staggering about a bit. Am I staggering because of my central nervous system, because of the drugs I'm on, or just because I haven't been doing enough exercise on and using my leg muscles for for the last ten days? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I certainly feel a bit more staggery at the moment um, than I have done previously. Whether that is from the drugs, I don't know. So those those are some early sort of side effects that that, that I may or may not be feeling genuinely. Uh, but the whole process was really absolutely fine. Uh, I, I feel I could do sort of anything at the moment as far as you know, reading, talking, going out to the shop or whatever. Uh, I don't, I'm, I'm not like totally tired or this or that. Uh, the only other thing is obviously taking on that much liquid, uh, there is there is definitely the need to go to the loo quite a lot. So uh, quite a few um, trips to the toilet and, and that will, I, I assume, continue because I've got all that liquid sitting in my in my body somewhere somehow, so uh, and that's got to come out somehow. Um, but uh, yeah, other than that, not not really an awful lot to report. Perfectly fine. Happy days. Hope that was useful.